Okay, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this. Later on, for our next deck, we have Bant Familiar. So this is called Familiar because this is a Biomancer's Familiar deck. Um, so Biomancer's Familiar uh, reduces your activated abilities from your creatures uh, by two mana. So that means that adapting an Incubation Druid will only cost three instead of five. Growth Chamber Guardian only costs one mana to adapt. Um, Resplendent Angel only costs four mana to activate. Shalai is four mana to activate. And that's that's really about it. But still, like that's you know, a good amount of uh cards with activated abilities that we get to reduce with familiar. And plus uh, you know, like it can also tap and let these things adapt multiple times as well. Um so we have a lot of angels to kind of go along with that with Resplendent Angel, Shalai, Angel of Grace, and Lyra. So we're hoping to face some aggro decks with our with our angels. And then we got our, our good Planeswalkers, a Johnny Vivian, um, some new cards from Ravnica Allegiance that have proved to be pretty powerful, Deputy of Detention and Hydra Crisis, to fill out the deck. So, Zagana? Oh, like, ooh, a, one of these Zagan Zagana. I, I saw you say Zagana earlier, and I was thinking you were talking about Zakama, you know, like I, that was just the card that registered in my mind Zagana could be pretty cool in this it's not going to enter with a dr hmm. no I don't think I want it it's just not going to enter with you're not going to draw a card very often at all the only things that have like the counters are like these two if you're activating you know I don't think you're playing it before you activate Shalai oh Hydrate Crisis has a counter on it though hmm I think this card would come in for the Angel of Grace. I think that's Angel of Grace would be the card I would take out for Zagana. Hey, Pizza Delivery Man. Thanks for delivering a sub here. I think I'll keep the Angel of Grace, but I think that's that's the slot. If you want to play a Zagana, I think the Angel of Grace is the slot for that card. Of course, third July is is a possibility as well but I, I think I would take out the angel of grace so here we go oh you think uh, you think you'd like the Zagana more oh well dang um so pizza delivery man with sub number 34 on the day one more until we get our next sub goal cracking open a pack Uh, we do not have any Arch of Araskas in this deck. No. This has been the kind of day that, that we've been having here today. With, like, how this man is going on and everything. looking at what you looking at Colonel fault on that five month streak streak thanks Colonel fault yeah my my electricity was out for the last three days so I couldn't stream I'm not planning on taking any more days off, but of course I wasn't planning on those days either. All right, so that takes a counter spell. Um, we gotta hopefully draw Lyra, Shalai. You know, we gotta draw one of our angels here. Yeah, been a rough, rough few days, but um, you know, came came back on last night. I the power went out Sunday night when I was sleeping, and came back on last night. Yeah, and that's what. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I live like 
um, on the top of a mountain, and, and that certainly happens sometimes. Do the deck links allow you to purchase paper or only digital decks? Um, I think just the digital decks looks like. Yeah, just the digital. You, you'd have to export it to something else for... Um, For paper, <clears throat> do you have neighbors? Kind of. And there's other houses around. We don't really have a very good sideboard against Mono Blue. Um, yeah, I'd like to be seeing like some Kral Harpooners here in the sideboard. <laughs> yeah, I could have your, your pettiness sideboard. Borderland Ranger, did you see us play uh, Celestia Angels the other day? We did we did really well with it the other day. Um, I just played harpoon. I I did not play the isolate isolate uh, isolate uh, sky tether combo though. Um. Yeah, I think I played it on Sunday, and pretty sure I went 5-0 with it. Am I taking out Vivian Reed? Get this card back in. Oh my gosh. Just work, Arena. Yep. Yeah, whenever yeah, if you if you conclave or yeah, basically if you destroy an enchantment removal spell, whatever comes back in enters like the first time it ever entered. So yeah, if you if it's like a history banalia, it'll be the first chapter of history banalia. Um if it's a creature with an ETB effect, like a nickel bolus, you know, like they'll come in and discard or anything like that. Hey, good job! J Default Drew got two Mythic Rares with uh, in a row with two packs yesterday. Good job. Uh, thanks, Frizzy Nell. Well, good luck. All right, so a tough start for us, especially how they have Miss Cloak Herald and not like a Siren Storm Tamer, because like a Storm Tamer, um, you know, we would be able to, we'd be able to play our flyers and block, but uh, it being Herald, pretty rough for us. <clears throat> hey, Gatsby, dude, thanks for all the bits. Electrifying return to work hype. Gatsby, you are amazing. Thank you so much. Very kind. Um, so this is, you know, just obvious counterspell magic. Sorry, mana for the opponent. I'm just going to activate the Incubation Druid instead of playing my Lyra Dawnbringer into the counterspell. We don't actually need to play anything at all anymore. Like, we, we win this game um, with Resplendent Angel. Um, so we, we don't actually need to, like, play stuff.
And thanks, Gatsby. Uh, why didn't they attack? Are they scared of, like, settle or something? Must have been scared to settle. I had the a shame concede. I kind of thought they'd have a counter soul. Maybe they just clicked through attackers. Honestly, that that could have been the thing that happened. They just clicked through attackers. Dizave. With that Twitch Prime sub. Thanks to Zave. Welcome back for the fourth month. I do appreciate that. So that's sub number 36. So yeah, we, we will begin to pack after after uh, this match here. Oh yeah, no, it was definitely worth... Like, yeah, they should have been attacking. Yeah. That should have been an attack. What's the best shell for angels? Um, honestly, my favorite angels deck right now is the Selesnya angels deck we played a few days ago, like a week ago. Oh, I guess I did have a sky tether in that one. <laughs> This hand's like really close. Like I want to keep this. I just hate that we have Hinterland Harbor Sun Petal Grove, but like that's you know this hand's so close though. I keep it. And I hope we draw an untapped land, or we won't. Uh, turn two curious obsession every game. Kind of rough. Hooray! So if I cast Baffling End and my opponent spell pierces and or... Um, if they have Spell Pierce or uh, whatever the other thing, Dive Down, we're just kind of dead on the spot. So I'm going with the Incubation Druid first so that I can Baffling End. With Negate Backup, but I guess if, if they have... Two pieces of interaction. Okay, good, we got that. Got that one. Start. Growth Chamber Guardians just aren't too important. Honestly, I should probably just play the Biomancer. I should just play the Biomancer Familiar second. So that I could Incubation Druid. Perfect.
Yeah, so, if... so... Yeah, so... I played Baffling End... Before... Um... And not the Deputy Detention when there was the two Terramanders. Because I had, I had exactly four mana, so I had Negate available to... To help counter something. Like a... Like their own negate or a, a spell pierce or, or something. Um, I couldn't if they had in essence capture or a dive down or anything like with that like with deputy, I couldn't protect deputy at all. Yeah, Resplendent Angel should be able to take over. And we got there. All right, want to know. Oh, pack time. Cancel, cancel, cancel. 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 Hooray! Cancel worked. Alright, let's crack a pack. Yeah, Familiar did the thing. We got to basically play uh, zero mana Familiar there. Uh, since I was planning on activating Resplendent Angel anyway, and it just reduced the cost by two. Uh, we got a Mythic. I, I already own all the Mythics in Rivals of Ixalan. Trying to get, trying to get the rest of the rares, including the Storm of the Vault. So we got 40 gems. Not a great uh, trade-off, you know, the thousand gold for 40 gems, but at least it's 40. Better than 20. I don't know how I got all the RI RIX mythics. I don't know. That might have been a set that I used like a, a good amount of like mythic WoW cards on before. You know, I think I did with like Rekindling Phoenix and Immortal Sun and um, probably use them on Azor's Gateway for something. And hey, Joy TT, Carney T is rival or is regular Ixalan, not rivals. I'm not sure if we have enough green sources in this deck. This is the second time we've had an opening hand without a green source. Yeah, there's only 15 green sources. That's definitely low. This really needs to have at least 16, maybe 17, but at least 16. When we've got an incubation druid and stuff, you can't have 15. This deck needs another green source. No, mono blue again. Angrath is another good Rivals of Ixalan Mythic. No, I, I don't have four Storm the Vaults yet. I have three, but soon, next few days, I, I need to build the Storm the Vault deck soon.
Yeah, that is a pretty interesting curve, going familiar and then angel and then being able to activate angel on turn four. I just kind of like incubation druid too much. I kind of like just getting the like the mana down and everything. No, you're you're good. You're good, Gatsby. So yeah, I just have all the mythics right now. That's why I got gems for I got gems for the mythics. I don't have all the rares yet. Um, so if, I, if I had all the rares, I wouldn't wouldn't have been buying the pack. I mean, I should have played Temple Garden or Hollowed Fountain here, like one of those two. Yeah, those are some good pulls. Good job, Box. I don't know why our opponent attacked there. Like, unless they have, like, Merfolk Trickster. Which is not a good attack. Yeah, Esper Thran is a follow the Thran uh, Esper list. Alright, so we eat a dive down. Wish we had more cards to play. But, you know, we multi six and kept three lands and three spells. And since then, we've drawn six lands. The sad part is we're still, like, doing just fine. The sad part, we're, we're doing just fine still. Our opponent's in over there with eight lands. You know, Mono Blue's not really supposed to be having eight lands. We have drawn eight lands now. And we scried a land to the bottom, so our first nine cards were all lands. It's just not a good attack. Our opponent really should not be attacking with their Tempest Gen. Alright, and our first card after nine lands, after our top nines lands are, is Incubation Druid. Um, yeah, I mean, I haven't played Phyrexian Scriptures too much. I don't think I've played it since RNAs came out. Um, 
I, I don't really like Phyrexian scriptures. Um, like the main matchup you want those kind of cards is against like uh, Soul Tie. That's annoying. Should I trade Resplendent Angel for Tempest Gin now? I guess I'd make the trade. Um, and I don't like it because of Vivian. So Vivian uh, is, you know, just so good against uh, Phyrexian scriptures that I just don't like it. Oh, I should attack with the angel too. Duh, that's a free attack. Oh, come on. Oh, uh, I need to attack with both. Because if they block the angel, I just get a new angel. And if if they don't block the angel, they take the four. I needed to block. I needed to attack with both. Yeah, even just attacking with incubation druid would would be fine too. Yeah, no, you, you're right. This is just attack with all. I don't know, I was just, you know, it just happens sometimes, I'm just talking about a different subject and, you know, make the wrong attack. I don't, I don't vape anything, Colonel Fault. Sorry, the thing in my hand was... Just a tie bar. Just, just an extra tie bar that I had up here. Alright, we still got it. Opponent didn't have an answer to our 4-4. So they made a couple bad attacks that allowed us to create 4-4s with Resplendent Angel. Um... No, I have never and will never vape. All right, so what, how, what did we do last time? We took out a Johnny and Vivian Reed. And one familiar, and I did not bring in binding. Worked last time. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Um, hmm. It's kind of a tough hand. I kind of would rather have this on the play, like having negate on the play on turn two for a curious obsession. Uh, If we just hit land drops, this hand's really good. If we get to curve Resplendent Angel to Hydroid Crasis to Lyra, I'll, t I'll take that curve. You know, like that's, it's a, it's a good curve against Mono Blue with all those flyers and everything. Um, not guaranteed really to have that curve. We're on the draw. I'll, I'll go ahead and try it. You know, we're up a game. We can, you know, we don't necessarily need the, the most perfect of, Games here. All right, I'm getting the last video up on YouTube. Well, hopefully they they just stay on one land, because uh, then they're not countering Resplendent Angel. Oh, they have Miss. I just realized they had Miss Cloak Herald and not a flyer. I thought they had. I thought they had a flyer. I just realized they had. What 
are you looking for? Yeah, what are you looking for? Okay, making the the image. Exclusion mage is rude. Okay, almost done. Okay. Uh, so what we're at? Not very much life. We're at not very much life at all. All right, I'm back. Um, how interested are you in janky brews, or do you prefer more st streamlined tested decks? I like janky brews. Um. Yeah, like that's play a lot of those. Like the the last deck we just played, the Do the Dovin's army deck was su was super janky. Um, but yeah, I, I don't play a whole lot of like the tier one decks and everything like that. Um, so. Growth Chamber Guardian is not very good in this matchup. But if it's if it is good, it's you know good early. Ooh, an Arcades wall deck? I haven't yeah, I haven't tried an Arcades wall deck. Go with the familiar though. Red Scorpion, thank you so much for that sub. That's sub number 37 on the day. You are amazing. Thanks for that resub there. Or just the first sub. Um. I don't want Resplendent Angel get encountered if they have just like Essence Capture. I'll let Growth Chamber Guardian get countered since we have another. A lot of cards in hand.
thinking about baffling ending that Terramander right there. Um, we'll just get this Growth Chamber Guardian down. Kinda, kinda wish I would've baffling ended. Hopefully we draw a land here and we can baffling end and resplendent angel. Whoa! Gatsby! Gatsby gifting out 10 subs to the community. Santa Gatsby has just brought so much hype to the channel tonight. Thank you so much. Santa Gatsby. I really appreciate that. So. That means, yeah, we're going to need a bigger boat. <laughs> so Kentucky Bob, uh, HF Berticus, Tetrak, Inbreaker, London Lad, Fear of the Ewoking Dead. That's uh, funny. Uh, Fruits, uh, Zertz, Gerzog, Press Any, and Drago. Gifting out... Um, Gifting out those subs. So, welcome everybody uh, to the channel. Hope y'all enjoy all the all the awesome emotes, including, of course, the hypo. All right, so this is upkeep, trickstering the resplendent angel. And then that's just gonna happen. That's getting us to 47 here. Love it. Press any. Getting the, getting the emotes in there already. Okay. So they have one mana still. Um... Get another Resplendent Angel in here. Let's attack for six. Nah, just, just four. We'll get the Growth Chamber Guardian in also. Uh, Gatsby donated all those subs. And this is Gatsby's deck that we're playing, too. So they're sitting on... They're sitting on a... Two instants in their graveyard, so Terra Mander would cost six mana to adapt. Oh, I thought I'd already resolved. Sorry, opponent. Right, nerd girl? So many subs today. Also, you know, kind of happens. We've had tons and tons of resubs with, uh, you know, not not streaming the last three days. Um, all those resubs are coming in here, but certainly very awesome. Hey Smitty, yeah, I've been I've been enjoying this deck too. This Biomancer's Familiar has been pretty impressive. All right, we have Gatsby gifting another sub to E Claus, and then P.S. Lampkin joining with their own. So that is gets us to 49. Okay, how do we want to do this? Um, activating Resplendent Angel costs 4 mana. Which means I can't 
Activate Resplendent Angel. I cannot activate Resplendent Angel and... Uh, and cast Baffling End. That's what I'm wanting to say. And I certainly want a Baffling End that Miss Cloak Herald. But I, I could just do Resplendent Angel, gain 5 life, get a 4-4. Four, four. Or I can take away this Miss Cloak Herald and play another Growth Chamber Guardian. All right, that'll do it. So yeah, I didn't, I didn't up, I didn't up the other WoW growth to six because I was gonna play another new one there. All right, we have two packs to go get. Thanks to Santa Gatsby. Let's get some different sets. Let's go with uh, M19 and Ixalan. We already been cracking open a bunch of rivals of Ixalan's packs today, so let's get these two. So we'll go with the Ixalan pack first. And our rare is Priest of the Awakening Sun. Kind of the one bad thing about how you cannot reopen um, any any cards that you have four of is that we just kind of know like our packs these days just aren't going to be too good. Um, Patient Rebuilding. That's a card I could see play. I could see myself playing that card. All right, 2-0 for Bant Familiar. We played against uh, Mono Blue twice, won both of those. Playing against a juky, juicy carcass. Ugh. I'll take this hand. We got that curve of familiar on two, resplendent on three, activate resplendent on four. We do need another white source though for that because we need trips white sources for resplendent angel activation. Hey, pure flame, doing good. <laughs> um, against Gates is that the curve I want to be doing against Gates or do I want to do yeah let's play this yeah we have three Shalai's in the deck yep cool yeah give it a try I, I think the deck needs another green source um, overall and as far as mana wise I think it needs another green source and I'm not really too sold on our sideboard but besides those two things I like what we got we have 15 green sources and I think the deck needs to have 16 Yep, with Biomancer's Familiar, we can activate uh, Resplendent Angel on turn four. Yep, Tajik does save every other creature from Gates Ablaze. Yeah. Oh, Incubation Druid's good. Yeah. No, I Incubation Druid's definitely good. It's certainly the best card for the slot. All right, Mass, what are, what are some options for, for your Mythic Wild card? 
finding something to spend it on. Ugh. That's rough. Hmm. I'm going with the, the Druid there because I, I definitely want to cast Vivian next turn. You know, like, I think casting, like, not being able to cast Vivian next turn is is um, worst possible thing for us. So uh, if I play, if I play Krasis, we draw the one card, but we may not draw the card that I've lets us so cast much already. I won't lose uh, more. Vivian the next turn, so... Let's go get Shalai. Shalai is good against uh, mass manipulation if our opponent's playing that card. It's a common way for these gates decks to deal with planeswalkers is mass manipulation. Alright, so I'm playing comes. Baffling End this turn. Alright, easy. So we get to Baffling End and Shalai. Alright, so options are the Immortal Sun, Angrath, Kaya, Thousand Year Storm. Hmm. I would rank them Angrath. Um, Angrath first, Thousand Year Storm fourth. Immortal Sun and Kaya are kind of tough. Out of those two, those two are pretty close. As the the two middle ones. Are you going Angrath? Cool. Yeah, no fire, no steel. And I like how Angrath just always says no fire, no steel. You know, like never, never wavers. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Yeah, the Cobalt Therapy creature looks really good. That's a good card, for sure. Um, Yeah, Hawkeye is walking around here like, let me play, let me play. You think that's a huge upgrade for Mardu Pyromancer? Doesn't Mardu Pyromancer care a whole lot about, like, you know, casting spells for Pyromancer and, and getting spells in the graveyard for...
Hopefully this works. Hey, feature. Thanks for resubbing there with Twitch Prime. I really do appreciate that feature. So I could have activated July. Yes, so I could have activated July. Um, but if I if I activate July, the the main thing is it kind of stopped for a second when Gates of Blaze was cast. And so I, I was thinking the opponent may have another expansion in their hand. And if I activate Shalai, then they just get to expansion and copy the Gates of Blaze. Um, and then, uh, which, you know, kills my thing. But I guess that, that kind of kills their thing too, though. It is time. If I... Yeah, so I could have activated Shalai to keep Shalai alive or the Druid to keep the Druid alive. But I couldn't do either of those and play Angel of Grace. And I just wanted to play Angel of Grace. I, I just kind of felt that that was like the safest thing to do, was just play the, the Angel of Grace. I know it wasn't the best value. Activating either of the creatures was a, was a better value. But I felt like it was the safest thing to do. Ooh, feature getting us to sub number 50 on day. Our opponent kind of needs mass manipulation. So having this extra Shalai is going to be really good of keeping a mass manipulation from just like taking all of my flyers. No, so the, the Vivian ultimate gives the gives your creatures Vigilance, Trample, and Indestructible so they cannot be destroyed. So Gates of Blaze does nothing. We get to just block Gate Colossus just fine. So don't think we can lose this anymore. All right, can we get game two or three? That's gonna be the, the question here. I like binding quite a bit. Frilled Mystic's pretty good. Crushing Canopy's good. Negates are great. Um, it's kind of all of our cards though. I don't like Deputy. I don't really love Lyra. Possibly we don't need familiar here. We don't need to like we don't want to just put out like a lot of bodies on the battlefield. What if we do this? No, I, I don't think there was any way for the opponent to win through that. They would have they would have had to have like entrancing melody to take the Shalai and then like Mass manipulation to take a bunch of other things. They just they can't really win, realistically. After a Vivian ultimate. So Disdainful Stroke. What's it countering? It counters um, Gate Colossus, which is not really a great card to counter. Counter Circuitous Route. Mass manipulation. Hydroid Crisis. Let's counter some things. Those good things to counter are basically what ca negates count negates counters those. I don't think our opponent's playing Nexus. I don't believe. So 
We're just gonna keep the negates in. I don't I don't think they're playing reclamation. I don't think disdainful strokes necessary. Uh binding the the two best I mean there's a there's like three targets. There is Guild Summit, uh, the 8-8, and Hydroid Crisis. Cinder Vines, interesting. So they're bringing in their disenchant effects. <clears throat> Yeah, I think verse any anybody of Vivian Emblem is a pretty solid plan. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of feel like there's is a spell pierce. Like, I want to play a Johnny here, but I, I'm kind of feeling a Spell Pierce. I don't know. Is that silly? I'm, I'm thinking about playing Shalai because of Spell Pierce, even though I'd rather play a Johnny. I don't think Spell Pierce is too common. But just how, how our opponent, like... It didn't just skip their turn. You play Spell Pierce in your Gates build? Yeah, I, I've seen it. It's not too common, but... But yeah, maybe it's getting more common. Oh, that's true. That's a good point. They shouldn't gain priority with Spell Pierce. So yeah, maybe they have Opt. Doesn't Cinder Vines need a target to give you priority? Doesn't Don't you have to have an Artifact or Enchantment to be able to sacrifice? Oh, it can target itself. Oh, okay. Well, then I probably should just play to Johnny. Together, we be strong. I'm keeping negate available. Um, not sure exactly what I want to negate, but I think I'm gonna. I'd rather have negate here than playing growth chamber guardian. You know, they may have like they may go another gate plus gate to blaze, maybe, and we counter that. Hopefully this works. Hopefully this works. Hooray! Now we can get those things way out of Gates of Blaze range.
Get one of these things. Draw a card. Deliver us to victory. Draw another card. Draw more cards. Alright, looking fairly good for us right now. Thank Felicia Lies awesome. And a Johnny's awesome. Well, that's kind of this is basically a Johnny giving the druid, like letting the druid ha have so much mana. And then, you know, Shalai helping out with that. Uh, gates of Blaze won't kill Shalai anymore. They have six gates. So Gates of Blaze won't even kill Shalai because it's a 6 7. So that's because, you know, we got to. The Gates of Blaze last turn, like, basically just just killed the Shalai. And we activated Shalai and put a counter on it with a Johnny. So we got to put two counters on it. Yeah, they were all about. All about destroying some enchantments over there. All right, July's a two-turn clock. Hey, DJ Poly B. Yeah, it, Baffling End was the only enchantment that I played last game. I'm making these Growth Chamber Guardians 5-5 five five so we can double block a Colossus and the Colossus only takes out one of them. Yep, streams up up and running, doing good. I will lend you my strength. So you know like def Defense-wise, we'll double block Colossus, have the other Growth Chamber Guardian be able to block Knight of Autumn. We also have a Johnny that can ultimate next turn. Or we can tick up, tick up a Johnny on the Shalai and have the Shalai activate and kill the opponent as well. Um, the new Sarah Planeswalker doesn't doesn't look like it will have any effect on modern. In my opinion. Uh, 
see in yourself what I see in you. All right, three and O. Oh. I already Shalai already had the two turn clock whether whether we pumped Shalai or not, as you can tell there. So I didn't need to. I didn't need to put a counter on Shalai last turn. To still be the two turn clock. Because because I could get two counters on Shalai. All right, Band Familiar is working out a little better than these previous brews have been today. All right. So, 3 0. Candy cow. Candy cow. <laughs> we haven't been playing too much Carnage Tyrant these days. Uh, Hydroid Crisis has, for the most part, uh, been kind of replacing Carnage Tyrant. Uh, as the... Uh, um, big mana threat of choice. Need another green source. Why does this deck only have 15 green sources? Ugh, I should have blocked. So presumably our opponent's going to play the Shalai this turn and beat us up with that Shalai. Thank you for attacking. Um, so I want to... So th um, and go Krasis for six, or could just try to flash in an Angel of Grace and surprise the opponent with an Angel of Grace. Or Krasis for six. I'd rather go Krasis for 6 than Krasis for 5 because of the extra card draw. We lose 1 life to draw a card. Um, I think that's worth it. You know, we had, we had to shock, but then we gain an extra life. I know. Hawkeye opponent's being so mean. Taking all my things hostage.
I'm going with the Angel of Grace first. Like, I want to play Angel of Grace here. I want to be able to block this Shalai that my opponent most likely will attack with. Yeah, you know, I kind of assume they're going to attack with a Shalai. They've really been exploring over some good cards. Oh, I tapped that a little wrong. I can only adapt to the Growth Chamber Guardian once now, instead of twice. Auto tap kind of got me. Meant to have like with the two mana we could we normally could have ad adapted the Growth Chamber Guardian twice because of Biomancer's familiar. Could have made that a six six here with this extra one mana if I would have spent a little more time with the tap in. All right, now we play this Lyra. And get it hit in for six lifelink. Also gets the Angel of Grace above finality if our opponent's like looking for finality. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. That can't help you now. Let's see if we get to eat this J-Light Ranger. Uh, don't get to eat the J-Light Ranger. Um... Friend of mine alone. Oh, that's it. So I wanted to get the Angel of Grace again above finality range. Um, and just, you know, kind of like my other things, get the 4-4 the four, four up there too. So we had a couple pretty fortunate blocks there with the, the Angel of Grace and the Incubation Druid surprising our opponent. Um, Takali Honor Guard seems like the card that I should be playing. And if I'm playing that card, I guess I don't want to be playing Deputy of Detention. Those seems like those seem like reasonable things. Ixlon's binding. Uh could be okay. Could certainly be okay. Hmm. What don't I what don't I want? I'd still have to cut two cards from here. I'm not in love with Growth Chamber Guardian in the matchup, but it's certainly better with Biomancer's Familiar. I do like Disdainful Stroke. I just watch TV on my phone until like my phone would die and then so like for part of the day I'd do that and the other part I'd just kind of just lay in, in bed and pet Hawkeye and stuff and um and you know like play with the dogs I'd go outside with the dogs some because it was actually warmer outside than in the house you know it was only like 50 um and each day I I drove into town and got like some drive through each day, even though I don't really like drive through, so my stomach's kind of bothering me today. 
Um, no, done. Dang it. And so as you can tell, I'm kind of a little off here today. Now, and I just didn't sideboard in time. Ugh. At least our opponent should be pretty surprised about Takali Honor Guard for game three. No, I'm not stressed. I'm just I'm pretty I'm just pretty worn out. I'm just actually really tired. Uh, you know, streaming for 11 hours now. Um, after not doing anything for like three days in a row, it's just pretty exhausting. I'm out of shape now. Um, and then, so the other thing I did, you know, like when I would drive into town and get food, um, I would stay in the car because the car was warm. And uh, I did a lot of work on my taxes, so I, I'm pretty close to getting done with my taxes now. Um, of like the stuff I needed to do. So I would just kind of be in my car, listen to the radio, and do taxes and stuff. That's a, that was like the warm part of the day. And I, I could charge my phone there. Yep, charge the phone in the car. No, that's not a good trade for me. But I also don't want to just sit there and take three all day. Find finality's broken. Wild animals I like. People? No one said restoration was Good news famous. is we have um, a Vivian here that has a lot of loyalty. I didn't live through hell to lose to you. And, you know, we can kind of threat, start threatening ultimate and that kind of stuff. Seriously? Eldest Reborn? Meet my newest friend. Just get out of here. No, it's been it's been a really good day. Lot tons of subscribers. Yeah, Gatsby with a huge cheer. It's been a really good day. So Lyra, maybe I take out a Resplendent. All right, how do I fit this Disdainful Stroke in? Got kind of two Baffling End. That's probably fine. I don't, I mean, Baffling End's just great. Let's get those all in here. Oh, in the context of wins, eh. That's fine. So binding for it would be like for Vivian would be like the biggest thing I'd want to binding. I'm not just not gonna play bindings. We have three Hydroid Crises. Just hate having Binding uh, get destroyed. Um. Alright, no Takali Honor Guard yet. Well, that means we're going to draw it right here. Dang it. 
Because the Johnny's perfect with Honor Guard, because whenever they cast down the Honor Guard, we get to bring it back. Kinship ensures our victory. Strength is born of struggle. Um, why aren't more people playing Assassin's Trophy and Bedevil? I think Bedevil is just kind of like mana cost. You know, like I don't think like red black decks just aren't. Um, I was not strong. Aren't enough. doing the best these days, and the ones that are are very red heavy and not you know like double black. Uh, not wanting to have like double black uh, kind of thing but besides that uh, assassin's trophy not too big on because giving the opponent the extra land is really is a huge downside in standard um that's it that's a huge negative of, of letting the opponent get a land in standard where these games go long and uh, so much mana is spent back and forth. Having that extra mana over five, six, seven, ten turns is just a huge difference in the game. You know, us having this extra mana here allows us to play Shalai and Disdainful Stroke. Like that's that's just a really great turn. That's kind of all set up because the opponent played Trophy. I mean, that's just kind of how you, you win games of, mat of standard is spending more mana than your opponent. And Assassin's Trophy um, allows your opponent to spend more mana than you. And that's, that's the baseline for winning games of, of standard. Spend more mana than your opponent. You know, mono red decks win because they spend a lot more mana than the opponent early in the game. And they end the game quickly before the opponent can catch up and spend mana on all their spells. So when you're playing Assassin's Trophy, yeah, you you want to be ending the game quickly because of it. You don't want to like play an Assassin's Trophy and then the game goes another 10 turns. Fear, my friend. Look how far you have come. So I could just activate Shalai, and it would actually do more than a Johnny would. But I think a Johnny ticking up just puts pressure on the opponent from yet another area that they have to worry about. With you know, just a couple of turns away from an ultimate. Um. So I like just having another angle of attack besides just the creatures. And if they have Eldest Reborn, I just sack a Johnny, of course. And there we go. So yeah, so Assassin's Trophy was pretty bad for our opponent because without Assassin's Trophy, they get to um, play their Vivian, and Vivian is just awesome against me. Well, the thing is, is if our opponent played Eldest Reborn, they they're dead. So, like they they're just dead on the spot because like if they tap out for Eldest Reborn. Like, they're dead. So I, I wanted my opponent to play Eldest Reborn. Um, 
and if they you know if they have something else like if they have like Vrasis Contempt for the Shalai or you know whatever else um, I want those things to kind of trade and give my like the I want the Ajani to be threatening towards ultimate while the creatures are and all that kind of stuff um, yeah, so I, I'm not really a fan of Assassin's Trophy myself. Oh, it is final boss time. Gosh, haven't haven't fought the final boss yet today. I forgot to get our final boss music on here. Here we go. Foro, we even have an extra life. Even if we lose this one, we have an extra life, but we're playing against Mono White and we have a couple Liras. Let's try to get Try to get to our Liras. Five win dream. We can maybe hit the hit the dream tonight. Got the vanguard out of there. Opponent missed a land drop because they were on the play. That's certainly, you know, good sign towards us getting to Lyra. Hope they do not have Conclave Tribunal here. Looks like they do have Conclave Tribunal. That's a great turn for them. I felt a lot better about this. A little bit ago. Okay, the card we need to draw is Resplendent Angel. That's the card I want to draw. Resplendent Angel. That Biomancer's familiar turn was just pretty embarrassing. Turn four. That is so good for us. They just wasted. They just used a Conclave Tribunal instead of like attacking with like their Adanto Vanguard. Oh, that's such a good turn for us. Thank you, opponent. Not even not safe in the Tribunal or anything. Wow. Um. Yeah, Vivian doesn't do a whole lot for us here. I mean, like, we can... So, basically, the best thing Vivian does is destroy the Conclave Tribunal, get back Deputy, Deputy take, like, the the two Dauntless Bodyguards. But I think I'd rather have the, the Lyra in play first. And now we can... Now we can go with that line. Oh, that's true. They get to sack a bodyguard, don't they? Let's see if you're worthy. This is nothing. So we can take one thing. So I can like get their other conclave tribunal, or get the tithe taker or Danto vanguard.
That's true. This opponent may not sack in response. That's a good point. All right, now next turn we get to tick up Vivian and look for a Resplendent Angel. No attacks. Tilt. Um. So I block here, I'm taking three. You know, if I block there and there, I'm taking three, six, nine, twelve, gaining five. So both reasonable. All right, resplendent. Shall I? You can't stop nature. Angel of Grace is kind of cool. Do I want Shalai or Angel of Grace? I guess Angel of Grace. Cost six mana on their turn because of Tithe Taker. Oh, I should get Shalai to protect Lyra from a Conclave Tribunal. They conceded anyway, so that's good. Alright. Baffling end. We don't really have a sideboard here for this matchup. Hmm. I don't think I want binding. Or disdainful stroke or negate or crushing canopy. Or frilled mystic. So, it looks like I'm bringing in that baffling end, taking out Najani. I guess this binding's got to be better than Najani. Honor Guard's okay. It's good against Luxodon. It's not good with my deputy. You love disdainful strokes here? Yeah, they're 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 pretty good. Gotta counter that venerate Luxodon. Opponent will never see it coming. Never expect it. Come on, white mana. Yeah, binding on a tribunal could certainly be nice. Perfect, white mana. Yep, it's, yeah, Kaya and and Follow the Thran and Remorseful Cleric. That's the Esper Thran list there. It would have been nice to be able to deputy the 2-1 uh, and have Baffling End for the Benelish Marshal. So Benelish, we just know Benelish Marshal is just gone for good. 
Um, you know, it would have been nice, but... Alright, looks like Luxodon. Oh, nope, it's Tribunal. I thought it was one of, the, one of the two, but how they're tapping the three mana, I was thinking Luxodon with like the three plus two. Yeah, the final boss here doesn't seem to be playing too much of a pillow fort deck. Oh no. Another Benelish Marshal. I mean, I'm not really winning by having Resplendent Angel block one of those 3-3 things, so I guess I'm just going no blocks. If I draw Lyra, maybe have a shot. Deputy of Detention to take the two Benelish Marshals. Okay. Just gotta hope Deputy survives. Oh, I guess I could have deputy the Conclave Tribunal to deputy the Benelish Marshals. I guess I could have gone next level like that. Yeah, I like the band colors. Ooh, we're back in it. That is true. Now, if we, if we do find a dep or a Vivian, we could get a, a new deputy. Wow, top deck deputy! What a top deck! We finally had a good top deck, and we won, and we beat the final boss five zero for Bant Familiar. Uh, the first game we should not have really won. Our opponent used the Conclave Tribunal a little t turn too early, but we did it. And we even got another Rivals Vixalon Mythic and a Dominaria Rare. Two that we already had. So yeah, there we go. 5-0. So yeah, the deck was pretty fun. So thanks, Gatsby. Um, as, I liked the main deck. I liked our main deck quite a bit. I think our sideboard is kind of off. Uh, I'm not so sure about like the Frilled Mystics or the Crushing Canopy. I think those are probably my least favorite cards. Um, maybe you don't even need Takali Honor Guards. Takali Honor Guards are, are basically just for the Soul Tie matchup. So it's, it takes that takes up a whole lot of sideboard slots to have you know four of them. Like you know maybe you can just kind of make the deck better against a lot of other things and not not play the Honor Guards and hope to still beat Soul Tie without them kind of thing um i'm not sure but that's those are like some some things to kind of to mess with but yeah biomancer's familiar was pretty sweet that card that card was pretty sweet um so there we go all right so <clears throat> uh, if you're watching this later on on youtube of course don't forget to hit the subscribe button over there but thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.